Good morning everybody, Saturday the 21st of June and I'm just looking at this crop of spring wheat. As you will notice, it is very uh, late. It's uh, still in flagged leaf. There is a little bit of it. The ears are beginning to emerge. Over uh, the other side of the field, a bit further emerged, but generally not very much. So it's probably worth explaining what the hell is going on here. So uh, this was exceptionally late drilled, and that is because it was going for planning committee uh, in February, and uh, no point in in putting it uh, into a crop if it was about to be sold. Um, and the other side of the field is is a road. So this is right opposite where I'm standing. And uh, quite a, this is a roundabout here, and there's a arm off the roundabout which will eventually link up with this underpass. We're in a huge area of construction around here. So we planted an uh, overwinter linseed cover crop out here. It was a linseed and vetch cover crop in order to comply with our CSS obligations and uh, really pleased with the with the outcome really there are some occasional patches of uh, wild oats we sprayed for those uh, let me just show you it's a bit thinner here i probably remember the reason so we've got these wild oat patch here and on the far side of the field we some land got given back by HS2. There's quite a lot of thistles. And uh, this is a chunk of made up ground here, as you can see. We don't really get uh, stones like this. But there used to be a huge um, sort of, I guess it must have been an old hedge line or something that ran through this site. And uh, we filled it in a couple of years ago. So there was still some work left from that but overall very pleasant crop to walk out on so we'll take this through to combining and i'll report back on the yield or well, what i'm using this crop to do to inform that conclusion that we've drawn before that drilling date really doesn't matter so we drilled everything winter uh, spring beans all of our crops then we had to get some extra seeding because we weren't planning to drill this uh, so it was really quite well delayed and then we drilled it so it's to model what would happen you don't normally delay your drilling in a spring in a dry year you might do it in a, in a wet year but what happens if you del delayed even in a dry year so that's what's happened here uh, quite pleased not a lot of disease in here it's uh, still low input but we will see how it pans out closer to harvest. So I'll report back on this one. So last year I introduced you to this field where we had rented it to the people in the house to grow wild flower mix. Just to revisit it, we don't have a lot of success with wild flowers, uh, primarily because we got quite heavy, strong land. So we tweaked the mix a little bit and we actually included extra um, borage and chicory otherwise the mix remained the standard mix apart from a few uh, poppies here where we've moved the soil for the pad the uh, yellow is mostly vetch the blue e the purpley blue is chicory and the purple which is going off now but that is the borage. I think that that might be something that we have to look at going forward as uh, as agri as farmers it's looking to industry to sponsor this sort of work if, if government uh, can't because otherwise these sorts of flowering options will not be sustained without payment. I certainly won't be taking them on. So opposite me is a lovely field of wheat it's a palladium and we went crop walking this week and we also i saw some palladium on light land that was getting very close to harvest so 
uh, quite keen to have a look at mine and uh, give you a little update on how it's getting on. So here we are on the track next to the wildflowers and all the dog running the crop. So with this, over the last week or 10 days, we've been spraying out uh, the margin around the outside of our crops, sterile strip to stop these sorts of grasses and especially the uh, bromes working their way into the field. And pretty pleased with this crop. Uh, it's, as I said, palladium. Now, it follows winter beans, but we haven't uh, given it much nitrogen. It's only had an application of digestate. There is, interestingly, some take-all patches here. Just noticed one over there, which you'd expect to see as it starts to dry out. Of course, these patches could be BYDV. We don't spray for any um, insecticides. It's always a bit of a concern of ours, the BYDV. Interesting, when it comes to insecticides, really uh, have big concerns at the moment. There's been a massive outbreak of black fly on the winter beans throughout the crop it's not you it's usually just a few on the outside but this time it's spread throughout the crop big challenges there so I haven't sprayed and in fact the farm walk that I was talking about earlier the farmer in question had actually sprayed that morning and we were talking about the fact that the ladybird larvae hadn't arrived in order to control the black fly. It was interesting, that very day was when I started to notice huge numbers of ladybirds in my crop. And actually some quite big larvae as well. So I'll include a picture here of a ladybird and a ladybird larvae, both on a bean plant. So just to, for those of you who haven't come across the concept in the past, it's really, the ladybirds does all right, but it's, it's, but it's the larvae that really get, eats through the uh, aphids. And there's some amazing statistic, like if an aphid was left uncontrolled, one aphid would outweigh the weight of the earth by the end of one year. That's how fast they replicate if, if, all, if they weren't limited by resource. So that really, it just goes to show you, in my mind, just how much control Mother Nature is giving, even when it, when it appears that she's doing nothing. Because you have a plant there that's got some black fly on it for weeks. Nothing seems to be happening and yet they must be being controlled. So I don't think we need to underestimate just how, how good a control Mother Nature is giving us. And then when we see the big predators move in, you know, what a lift hopefully that will provide. So a bit of a challenge for the winter beans this week, but uh, we continue to progress towards harvest. The main crop seems all right, but as we get to the edge here where it's a bit drier, you can see uh, leaves really beginning to curl and uh, struggling with the heat there. But as you see, as we go in, well, there is a bit of needling going on, I suppose. Yeah, but in here, and the main bit of the crop, as we're about to be decimated by a black Labrador, um, this flag leaf is still holding on. Well, nice big ears really, considering. So I'm relatively encouraged by this. And we will, we will obviously report back on yield when we go through with the combine. By way of update, whilst I'm here, compost continues to arrive. We're doing a, just over a 
uh, about around 100 tonnes a week at the moment. Uh, the pile is really coming along quite nicely. Um, before I get too carried away at the beautifulness of mine, my wild flowers, look at this uh, forget me knots coming through the hedge. Absolutely stunning. A nice work environment. Anyway, as you can see, still plastic still makes up quite a significant element. And this really is the issue with, mini with, with industrial compost. Look at that, that's just what you need, a plastic handle. Oh, I really, I'm conflicted by this, really conflicted by it. There's a lot of nutritional goodness in there. I'm doing a definitely helping society out by providing an app place to put this. But, oh my good, and it, it diverting it from landfill. So I do want it, but I, sh I don't want the plastics. And why should I have to pay for other people's waste disposal? It just seems, it just seems wrong. Right, so we get to the top of the heap, just about climbing up here. I thought it was a good place just to give you a, an outlook on uh, how the wheat is looking. So, thank you all very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. We've had a lot of views of our compost video, so really, hopefully we can show you the follow-up of it being spread, fingers crossed. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Still only about 90% subscribed, so if, if you could, please click on the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. All right, see you next time. Bye.